It's been said many times that farmers are the original environmentalists. Well, in conjunction with a number of other agricultural groups, the Alabama Farmers Federation is embarking on a year-long program called Down to Earth. The purpose is to tell the public about what farmers do to protect the environment. Today we're in Butler County at the farm of John Boutwell. John, thank you for having us out to your operation. Appreciate you coming today. Glad to have you. Well, tell us about your operation here. Uh, this particular piece is about 2,000 acres. Uh, it's been in the family a long time. My grandfather got the original piece and it's a century farm now. So anyway, we, we've been in a while. Okay, well we saw coming in signs that say it's a tree farm. To most folks that means it grow, that you grow trees, mm -hmm. but to you it means more than that. Yeah, we do grow trees. I mean, that's the main bread and butter of it, but we also enjoy other things. Uh, we hunt here. Uh, I actually lease the hunting rights out. That gives me some steady income coming in to put into the place. We also, the family, enjoys recreating on it. We walk in the streams and we like to walk in the woods, play in the woods too. And being a tree farm means su sustainability. It does. Uh, to be a tree farm, you've got to have a plan of how are you going to manage the place? We, we have had a plan for years. Uh, this thing has been a tree farm since the early 1960s, for over 60 years now. So we do kind of feel like we're the original environmentalist. I understand. Well, we came out here to talk to you about carbon. So we wanted to ask you, how does your farm help remove carbon from the air? Well, all these trees are growing every day. And when they grow, they take in carbon dioxide, which is the big booger in the world. And they take that carbon and they make wood out of it in the tree and they let oxygen back, which is good for the environment. Uh, these trees are growing every day. Uh, I had a, I had an audit several years ago, said that I was, I was sequestering or capturing seven tons per acre per year on these good growing trees that we've got here. Uh, this group of trees right here is about 20 years old. We have, uh, we have thinned it twice. Uh, I want people to understand that cutting trees is not a bad thing. We thin to help the, help the health of the trees here. It keeps them thin where they're not too thick, where they don't die. Uh, the first two thinnings went for putt wood. It makes paper towels, toilet paper, the boxes that Amazon boxes come in. Uh, probably the next time we harvest, they're going for two by fours, for plywood, for things that we will build buildings out of. And when, those, when that wood goes in those buildings, it's, it's sequestered, it's captured as long as that building stands there. Okay, well you mentioned harvesting trees. Does that have an effect on the environment? Not really, it, again, it helps the health of the trees. Uh, the trees are not gonna live forever and they, they reach a maturity. And so at that time you get, you need to start harvesting at that time. Okay, well you and I talked before this interview about water, and I know that's another uh, issue for you that mm -hmm. you're concerned with. What steps have you taken on this farm to help protect the environment? On all of our streams, and we've got about 11 miles of streams on here, we've got a streamside management zone, a SMZ, and that is protected, and it's 50 to 100 yards wide, and we never harvest in that area. We're always careful crossing the streams, and so we've got pristine, clear water here. Uh, I used to drink out of it as a kid. I want my grandkids to be able to do that. I understand. Well, John, thank you for having us out to your operation today. If you have a question for an Alabama farmer, send it to askafarmer at simplysoutherntv.net. What we eat, what we wear, it all starts somewhere. And if it's good, it usually starts with a farmer. And that somewhere is right here in Alabama. In a field, in a barn, on a tractor. Right now, there's a farmer starting something good for all of us. And it all starts right here in Alabama. There's nothing quite like sitting down to a home-cooked meal with fresh vegetables from the garden. With Bonnie Plants from your local quality co-op store, you can enjoy the freshest vegetables right from your own backyard. And no matter if you're a raised bed gardener, a rose gardener, 
or if you farm hundreds of acres, your quality co-op store has exactly what you need to get the most out of your plants. You'll always find what you need, plus friendly, knowledgeable advice at your local quality co-op store. There's one near you. If you're attending a technical school, college, or university in Alabama, you may qualify for a scholarship offered through the Alpha Foundation. And if you're a college student studying agriculture, forestry, or a related field at Auburn University or Alabama A&M University, you may qualify for a scholarship through the Alabama Farmers Agriculture Foundation. Scholarships are just another perk of being an Alabama Farmers Federation member. Find out more online at alphafarmers.org scholarships. Support healthy food from local farmers by purchasing a Farming Feeds Alabama license plate. The TAG Fund's education and promotion efforts, including Ag in the Classroom, Agricultural Scholarships, and Youth Programs. Get your Ag Tag today. For more Simply Southern, follow us on social media. And while you're online, visit our website, simplysoutherntv.net. Simply Southern continues in a moment. Sweet Grown Alabama is such an amazing brand. It'll be great for consumers to be able to connect immediately with an Alabama grown or made product. Sweet Grown Alabama, what it means to us is community. By buying Sweet Grown Alabama, you are able to support your community um, and kind of play your part and help the farmers. There's a, a huge advantage uh, just to your local community by buying local, whether it's local farms or local businesses. Find Sweet Grown Alabama farms, markets, restaurants, and stores near you at sweetgrownalabama.org. <laughs> 